Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Flower Bomb, um, the original. And I got one of these tiny little testers and it was only about um, halfway filled. I think from now on, I, I don't know if I'm going to continue getting um, the small testers. I might just get the, like the travel spray or like a mini bottle if I can find it. The problem with these tiny testers is that there's not that much to try and if it's an especially light scent I like to over spray and then you just don't get that much to work with um what well, I guess what I'm trying to just say is that you know I reviewed it I wore it over two days but I I wish I had more to wear so I, I felt like my review would have been a little better so in the future I I would like to revisit this and and get a bigger sample is is um what I'm trying to get at but in the meantime I, th I think I got a pretty good idea of of this let's start with the Accords um, it's floral patchouli white floral woody citrus powdery sweet warm spicy musky and rose I found it funny that for a perfume called Flower Bomb, I couldn't detect any flowers in this. I couldn't detect any floral. Um, patchouli, yes. The patchouli in the dry down was was obvious. Let's see, white floral, no woody. I, I wouldn't say I, I detected a whole bunch of woodiness from this. I detected a little bit of woodiness, maybe. <laughs> Citrus, yes. Powdery, eh, nah. on this one, not really. Uh, sweet, yes, this was very, very sweet. Um, warm, spicy, no. Musky, yes, rose, not really. So when I first sprayed this on, it smelled like cotton candy. It had a very, it had a very light, sweet, kind of open air feel to it. Um, as it dried down, the tea started to come into play. And then later when it was completely dried down, then I could really smell the patchouli. The weird thing with this is that the dry down was kind of different on me at different times. Sometimes it, it became like this sweet patchouli scent. And then other times it kind of kept the, the, the uh, cotton candy smell. So I don't think my skin liked this very much. Um, a lot of the reviews I read said that this was really powerful. This was really strong. I experienced the exact opposite of that. I felt like this was a really weak fragrance and I, I don't feel like it projected very well at all. Um, I could only smell this when I would lift my arm to my nose and then it was gone from my skin in about an hour so it didn't last um, it didn't last very long on me and judging from my experience I for this I would not buy this again um, I I just don't like that it didn't last long and I don't know I mean it's a pretty scent don't get me wrong it's very pretty I I just for me, I don't think it's worth the hype that it's gotten. Um, in a way, I can kind of see the comparison to Angel, but like, I think they would be like distant cousins. I don't think they'd be siblings. I don't think they're that close. Um, but I can kind of see a hint of of Angel in here and I can kind of see what everyone kind of gets at when they say that. Um, let's see, did I already go over it? Would I buy this again? No, I wouldn't. Would I give it away as a gift? I think I would. I think this has enough mass appeal that I would take the chance of, of giving this to like a young girl or something and then just letting the chips fall where they may. Hopefully it works with her skin. Hopefully um, it's a scent that she would like, but, um, 
yeah. Anyway, I have this other scent over here, which is perfect scents, but it's also referred to as in style fragrances. Um, cause I see both when I look it up online. I got this one from, uh, CVS and it was on sale. So I only got it for $4. I think normally they're like $9.99 each. Um, so see, it's this dupe of flower bomb. And I would have to say, if I had to pick between this one and the original, I would pick this one. It lasted longer on my skin and it had a little bit better projection than the original did. At least this one, I can occasionally ca catch um, a whiff of it as I move around. Um, on this one, on the original, I couldn't smell it at all until I brought my arm, my arm to my nose. But this one, I would have to say it's about 70% accurate. And I think what happened, they captured the dry down of the original and just bottled it. Because when I spray this, it's not like the opening of the original one. Um, it's not light, it's not airy, and it doesn't gradually add tea to it like the original. On this one, it goes straight to like this heavy, kind of super sweet, old syrup, musky, patchouli uh, concoction, you know? And it's, it's, it's heavy and it's dense. And I feel like the original, it's, it's much lighter. It's much more, ooh, <laughs> whoops. I feel like, um, this one is lighter and much more refined. Um, this one is just, it's. It's heavy right off the bat. Um, so I don't know. I think that if you don't have flower bomb money, I think this would be a good alternative to try. Um, there was a lot of good reviews on CVS for this one for people who, who actually liked flower bomb and wore it, you know, on a regular basis. Um, they said that this was a pretty good dupe for that. So anyway, that's it for this video. Um, if you have any, any comments, if you've tried this, um, write about it below. I really would like to hear, um, what other people think, uh, between this one and this one. So, um, and let me know also if I'm the only one whose skin seems to eat up, seems to eat up both of these scents both versions of this scent because, um, I, I couldn't hang on to it for more than an hour and it didn't project well on me. So anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.